Hey guys, Crystal Lee Kennedy here for The Movie Chick. It's time for The Movie Chick Pick of the Week, and this week's Pick of the Week was, of course, Wild, starring Reese Witherspoon and Laura Dern. I've been so excited about this film since I've heard about it. Um, it was announced back in 2012 that Witherspoon was going to be adapting the book and making it a feature film with her own production company. Fox Search to Light Pictures then picked up the movie in 2013 and acquired its rights. Uh, it's based on a book of the same name and Wilde follows Cheryl Strayed, a woman who's driven to the edge and makes a somewhat rash decision to hike more than 1,000 miles on the Pacific Coast Trail alone. I can't even do Runyon Canyon in LA and she's doing over 1,000 miles of the Pacific Coast Trail. She has pushed herself to the edge, the complete edge, and it is one of the most amazing books I've ever read. Um, someone gave it to me after my father died. It's definitely a book that deals with loss and grieving and finding yourself, and it was such a wonderful book that I couldn't wait to see the film. But a lot of times, books get adapted into movies and they're not so great, and I can actually say that in this case, surprisingly enough, I actually liked the film better than the book. Um, and I'm just gonna tell you a few reasons why. The book. Obviously, you know, you have your own imagination and you're really seeing this the way that you want to, but there's something really special about this movie and we haven't seen it done before. Well, I shouldn't say that. We did see it done before, but with men. We saw it with James Franco in 127 Hours and then we saw it again with Emile Hirsch in Into the Wild. And it was done last year with Mia Wasikowska in Tracks about a woman who traveled 1,700 miles in the deserts of West Australia. So so this one was a little bit different um, and it was amazing. It was such an emotional journey of healing, of breaking, of loss, of courage, of survival, and of completely losing yourself in order to find yourself. And I can't tell you how wonderful and emotional this movie and this journey was. I think that everyone should go out and see it. It's definitely a film that women are going to enjoy, but I will tell you that the men in the theater were teary-eyed at the end as well. This is a film that you are going to cry more than once during and there's an, a scene at the end before the movie ends that is so powerful and so wonderful and so moving that it just brings you to your breaking point. You're, you're, you're with this woman on this journey. And, you know, the thing that I like about the film as well was the use of flashbacks. So in the book, it does the same thing where she flashes back and is telling you the story of her life and why she goes on this journey. And I'm not going to tell you why because I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't read the book. Um, but she's just... I mean, she's at her breaking point. She's done and she needs to really figure out what's next for her and this is the journey she decides to take herself on. Um, Witherspoon, Reese is fantastic. I mean, if this doesn't get her an Oscar nom for Best Actress, I don't know what will. This is probably the best I've ever seen her. It's, it's her raw and real and gritty and you know, I mean, she's there and she's on this trail and she's alone and a lot of it's voiceover, but you feel this this passion and this courage and this fight and this woman that you just don't even expect to happen. Um, Reese has also said that this is one of the hardest films she's ever made in her life, even though she didn't have to hike the thousand miles, you know, the crew and they all had to work with each other on these trails. So they were literally lifting themselves over mountains and helping each other carry gear and she she has this backpack through the movie that uh, is nicknamed the monster, I will tell you that. And it is the heaviest thing in the world and she's gonna travel with this thing. And while she was filming, they gave her this heavy backpack and at times it was 45 pounds and they would say, it doesn't look heavy enough. And then they'd give her a 65 pound backpack and make her run up a hill again and see if that looked heavy enough. So this was a really rigorous and physical film for Reese Witherspoon. And not only was it rigorous and, and phys the physicality was obviously very strong because she is doing some hiking, but on an emotional level, I don't know that I've seen Reese ever this raw, and it was wonderful to see. Um, Laura Dern is plays her mother in the film, and she is absolutely beautiful and fantastic and wonderful and exactly what I expected her mom to be, and I just can't say enough wonderful things about this film. It's directed by Jean-Marc Vallée, who also directed Crazy and Dallas Buyers Club, so if you remember those two films, I mean, come on, they were both amazing. Dallas Buyers Club won him a lot of awards, and I think this will as well. Um, the other thing that I really loved about this film is they didn't change many things from the book. So it's a pretty 
true adaptation of the book and it has the most un-Hollywood ending in the world, but it's also a really happy ending. So I am giving Wild a 10 out of 10 stars. There was absolutely nothing that I didn't love about it. I thought it was a great film. I think everyone should go out and see it and I think that it's award season and this is a film that should absolutely be getting some nominations, especially for Reese Witherspoon. Thank you guys so much for checking out this week's Movie Chick Pick of the Week. Do me a favor, click that subscribe button, go down in the comments section and sound off tell me what you saw this weekend if you did see wild i hope you liked it as much as i did let me know down there and if you didn't see it tell me what you saw did i miss anything really good this weekend and then i would love for you to follow me on twitter and instagram at the movie chick with two k's just like me i'm chrisley kennedy i'll see you next time